The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to another Goldmine 101, our regular series of short presentations giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of Goldmine CRM. And this afternoon, I'm going to cover four key ways to access your own Goldmine installation from a remote location. Hello, my name is Tim Wilmot and my company, Wizard Systems, we're a specialist CRM systems supplier who provide simple solutions for improving your sales productivity, marketing productivity, and customer service through solutions like Goldmine. Now, this presentation will be fairly short, about 10 minutes or quarter of an hour, so it's just an overview of these four different solutions we can give you if you're, if you're interested in any of these and want a, a deeper dive into any of these solutions that you, you think would, would fit your business, uh, we'd be more than happy in organizing a, a more in-depth uh, presentation for you. The audio part is presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Um, probably best to type them in as you think of them rather than waiting till the very end. Also, uh, towards the close, I'll be giving you an update on any Goldmine product news for you just to keep you in the loop. And this presentation being recorded, afterwards you will get an email from our system probably after a day or so with a link to recording. You can um, play back at your leisure and we'll most likely pop it up on our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so let's get started. As I normally do, just a very brief mention about Wizard Systems. Uh, there are one or two people on the call that uh, are not familiar with us, but uh, we are Wizard Systems. We are a key supplier for Goldmine, one of the top suppliers for Goldmine worldwide, and we provide uh, a number of solutions around Goldmine. Uh, we can provide any kind of uh, installation help, upgrades, customization to Goldmine, anything to do with Goldmine, and also any type of training as well. Training can be at your place, our place, or online, and ongoing support as well. Okay, so these four solutions, in no particular order, let me start off with synchronization. So synchronization has been in the Goldmine product since the day one, basically, it's been in there 25, 30 odd years. And well, before the web became so widely used, it was, and still is for some companies, a key way of having a remote user access Goldmine from any location. And they have a separate location, they have a separate installation of Goldmine, say on their laptop, or it could be a remote uh, satellite office, for example. And then they would use this synchronization feature. This is built into Goldmine now, has been for a long, long time. Synchronization is via the web, or very securely via the web, or via a network connection. These two systems are talking to each other and exchanging any new or changed information. So you are going to be, the remote user is going to be slightly out of date. Um, with some of this. So when you when you create a record on the server, um, the remote user won't see it until they synchronize. So that could be, it could be scheduled, it could be a regular frequency, or the remote user could click on a button. This, so this is still being used by a few of our customers where their remote users might be in a, a location where there's very poor internet, very slow internet, unreliable, or for some reason they do need an offline we call it a, like an offline copy of Goldmine. Um, it works really well for them in that situation. Uh, quite quite a lot of people have moved on to some of the other solutions I'm going to talk about. Uh, so so that's Goldmine synchronization. Still in Goldmine, might be relevant to you. It needs setting up. Um, one of the key considerations is that whenever you do an upgrade of the server when a new version of Goldmine comes out, for example, then you've got to do the same with all your remotes. Everyone's got to be on the same release of Goldmine. So that's option number one. Option number two is 
Goldmine Web. Goldmine Web was brought into Goldmine about six or seven years ago. It's part of Goldmine, and it's a way of accessing via the web, real time, your Goldmine system. So nothing needs to be installed at the remote end. You can use any browser. It works really well on a smartphone, but think of it like a very simple um, access to Goldmine. Let me just see if I can show it to you here. So this is uh, Goldmine Web, a very simple interface to Goldmine and a quick way of accessing key contact information. It looks different to the classic Goldmine, shall I say, the Windows version um, of uh, Goldmine, but a great way for those users that don't want the full set of feature, the features of Goldmine. It supports email really well also. So if your thing is access to the key contact information, updating records, creating records, updating notes, keeping a track of your activities, um, opportunities, cases, creating simple filters and groups, um, responding to emails on the go, then that would be a, a great solution for you. That's Goldmine Web. So that's option number two. Part of Goldmine, it does need to be installed by, by us, Wizard Systems. Doesn't take too long, actually. Um, Goldmine is still where it is. This is not, this is not a cloud Goldmine. This is a way of accessing your Goldmine system as is, and it will, it will it will uh, observe all the security options you've set up for your users as well. So if user Fred can't do something, if user Fred comes in via the web, they will inherit whatever user Fred can, do, can or can't do. So that's Goldmine Web. Um, it proved to be very popular. Option number three, and this is a solution that is not specific to Goldmine. It can be used across any of your network or Windows applications. So this is a simple, low cost piece of software that we can supply to you called Go Global. Go Global is sold on a, a license basis and you put it on your server and it will then allow you to access via your browser or your tablet, um, your Windows application, just like you're physically in the office. We do have on our we do have on our website a very quick demonstration of that. Let me just go to our website here. So here's our website and I've gone to our products page and in the other category, uh, we've got Glo Go Global Remote Access. Slap bang in the middle there, live demo, instant demo, nothing to install, click on that. Just wait a second or two and this will allow you to really see the Way of accessing a number of key win a number of key Windows applications, um, for example, Word, QuoteWorks if you use it, and Goldmine. Um, ignore all this top banner bit. That wouldn't. This is just a, an online trial here. But you would see Goldmine as you see it right now, full screen within your browser. You can actually make it just by clicking an icon on your desktop. Log through that network username and password log through the Goldmine username and password. So bang, you're straight into Goldmine. Um, just as you've got Goldmine right now, um, it's there for you. So let's go global, not specific to Goldmine. It will work with other Windows applications as well. So you've got Sage, um, it can work with that um, also. Okay, that is go global. Last option I want to mention, it may not be last, I will mention a fifth. <laughs> uh, so number four, remote desktop. So this is part of the part of Microsoft technology with your server um, and IT, your IT people could set this up for you. And it's a way of, it's, it's similar to Go Global, um, but it's specific to Microsoft called a remote desktop connection. And this is where you can access your server with Goldmine on it or whatever's on there. And again, it's just like physically being in the office. And I know a number of our clients um, do use uh, that, that particular system there. 
I suppose a fifth option, and I, I know also a number of our clients do this right now. In the UK or wherever you are, there, there will be a number of IT organizations, hosting companies that offer a hosted server, a hosted service. So this, so they have um, their infrastructure of servers that they look after, and you could, or we could for you, put Goldmine from where it is right now in your office to one of these hosted servers. So you will have a setup fee, you will have a monthly subscription based on the number of users you've got and the number of additional applications you may be running on that. So you can you, you can kind of rent 365 and other office applications if you want to. Goldmine, of course, you own, it's your property, but Wizard Systems can put that into that environment for you. Uh, it's quite a simple process. And the hosting company will then give you instructions on how to log in to their service, but it would be similar to um, the remote desktop connection here. So there are the sort of four, four or five, four dash five remote access options. Um, one might be suitable for you. You may be using some of them already, but we thought it um, pertinent at this particular time to highlight these um, four options, just in case you do need to have uh, consider any users working from another location um, or from their home their home office location as well. So as we normally do on our 101 sessions with Goldmine, I open up to any questions you may have around this or any other areas. Um, so question from Natalia, uh, what is the best solution if we use Goldmine and QuoteWorks and QuickBooks? Well, it would be, so Goldmine Web is just Goldmine specific. So that wouldn't be relevant to either, um, uh, nor Goldmine synchronization. So really it's gonna be Go Global or remote, a remote desktop connection or go down the uh, hosted route there. Um, question from James, please send, oh, please send me more information on synchronization. We would love to use this with our USA site. Yep, um, we actually have a few, a few customers still using Goldmine synchronization with say a European site or a US site. So that would work um, really well. Um, your other question, James, all the data and synchronization is encrypted to 128 bit level. So I think it's the same kind of security that the CIA would use. It's pretty secure. Um, right, next question from Ben. Can you use a combination of access types? Yes, you can. No problem at all. Um, yeah, you could be, you could have Goldmine on your laptop, remote synchronization. You could have Goldmine web on your phone. If you just wanna, you just um, parked up somewhere, you wanna quickly look up someone's phone number or get directions to, to them. And um, there's also, it does interact with Google Maps. Uh, yeah, those two, those two access options would work in harmony. Yeah, no problem at all um, with using those combinations. Uh, Michael, in all but case one, is all the data only stored on the server, i.e. no remote storage of data? Absolutely right, Michael. Um, except option number one, everything else is stored in one place only on your secure network server. So there's no, there's nothing on your phone, there's nothing on your remote PC, everything and there's no, there's no um, as such, there's no actual application with Go, with Go Global and, well, with Go Global, there is a component you can download, um, but Go Global could access within your browser. Um, but certainly with Goldmine Web, nothing on your um, remote system, no data. All the data is centrally stored. Um, ABC are, asking is there any security issues remote desktop uh not that i'm aware of i mean this is the part of the microsoft technology stack so um as part of microsoft it is all very very secure i'm sure microsoft have got lots of documentation on the security of a remote desktop connection uh neve how long does it take to install goldmine web 
um, it's about an hour or two, depending on depending on whether you want um, the email uh, integration set up. So there is this, obviously part of Goldmine Web is the key access to uh, Goldmine via your browser, but then I did say that there's, there's email integration as well. So whether you use Goldmine email or Outlook, um, as you send and receive your emails, you you do want to um, uh, make sure that uh, you know Goldmine is tracking all of those emails in history. So, yeah, so uh, Goldmine Web would do that, and and we would set that up uh, for you as part of that implementation. Right. I don't think there's any more questions coming through. As I say, if there's any more late questions coming in after I close the close the call, I'll answer separately via email. Uh, just to keep you in the loop with latest news around Goldmine, we've got a Goldmine marketing course next week. We're going to cover some of the marketing options with Goldmine and um, linking to social media, um, importing data, doing leads analysis, uh, you know, all the marketing stuff. And so please contact us for details on that. I think it's on a Wednesday. Contact us for details and pricing on that. That's at our Bristol location. The latest release of Goldmine is 2019.1. Uh, check out what release you've got. Um, it's important for you to keep up to date with the latest versions. Uh, we have announced a bulletin on our Goldmine blog. Uh, please subscribe to our Goldmine blog. Great way of picking up all the latest Goldmine news. We tend not to do masses, masses of email outs at the moment. That can get quite um, frustrating to some people to have multiple mailings, but um, there is a very important um, announcement. Google and Microsoft are are implementing new levels of security with email. So if you're using Goldmine for email, it's very important that you get the latest version of Goldmine, which will be um, available in the next month or two, which will support Google and Microsoft new way of a two-step authentication to security. Very important you if you do use Goldmine for email, very important you consider um, implementing and making sure you're on maintenance. Uh, as always, the only way of getting this maintenance is to make sure you've got a, a maintenance getting upgrades anyway to, to get these upgrades to make sure you're on a maintenance contract with Goldmine. Uh, Wizard Systems can supply that to you. And uh, this is normally an annual contract to make sure you're up to date with all the latest uh, releases of Goldmine that come up. So that's uh, those four options then. If you, as I say, if you do want to have a deeper look at any of those, or if you want to try um, Go Global, there's that instant try, try me function up on our website, wizard-systems.co.uk. Um, give that a go. Um, please email us. Email us or email me, uh, Tim Wilmot, if you've got any ideas for future presentations that would be of use to you as a Goldmine user. I'd be happy to um, consider those, but we'll probably ha be having another one in a couple of weeks' time. And uh, yeah, hope everything is okay with you all. And please contact us if you want any more information on what's been covered in this presentation. Thanks very much indeed.